Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, how to use Web API to download uh, information from internet. In this particular case, we are going to use Google Map API as an example to download data such as the distance and the driving time between two addresses. Map data might not sound very useful, but there's a whole lot of web API available. You can download all kinds of uh, information like uh, weather, stock and uh, mutual fund price, and uh, interest rent, unemployment rent. Especially when we are living in a world with more and more decisions driven by data, web API become very popular because uh, it's uh, kind of an uh, easy, fast, and efficient way to get the data you wanted. All right, let's see how it works. You can find the data on the Google Map web page, but it takes a long time to do it one by one manually if there's uh, lots of address on hand. With Web API, only need a for loop and a couple lines of code. In this uh, Excel spreadsheet, uh, there's a many address I found in the internet. The one on the top with the orange background is the gas refinery factory located in the Burnaby, BC. The others uh, on the below is the gas station address. The purpose is first to download the distance and the driving time data between each of the gas station and the refinery factory. Then we're gonna email those data to each of the station. Let's first see how it works. Now let's see the VBA code. First, we declare several string variables used to store address information. Then declare a variable named uh, line s used to store the data. On error resume next, I put this line here just in case if some address go wrong, this program will not break. Then we use the keyword create object to create an object called wing HTTP request. We are going to spend more time to talk about it because we are using it to build a connection with the web server. Wing HTTP request object is a part of a Windows HTTP service. It enables the use of Win HTTP from Visual Basic and the Script language, which is VBA here. Win HTTP provides uh, developers uh, with a server support high-level interface to the HTTP 1.1 Internet Protocol. It is designed to be used primarily in server-based uh, scenario by server applications that communicate with the HTTP server. In short, uh, it can build a connection with the uh, HTTP server sending and receiving data. In this case, we are using two of the HTTP request methods, open and send. Open method opens a HTTP connection to an HTTP resource. Here, the HTTP resource means uh, the Google Map API server. The open method has two parameters, methods and the URL. Two commonly used methods for the request response between a client and the server are GET and POST. The difference between them is uh, GET requests the data from a server and POST submit data to a server. The second parameter is URL, which is a web address. We will talk it very soon. Then we use the property response text to retrieve the response entity body as a text. You can find the full object reference on Microsoft website. Now we are going to talk about the URL. The URL information is the request you send to the web server in order to let the server know what kind of data you want. And with the syntax, the server can understand it 
we have to read the API provider's documentation. We can find them easily online. Here is the Google Map API documentation. We can see here we need to put one of the address behind the orange equals and the other address behind the destination equals. It will return a text looks uh, just like this. Since we only need a distance and the driving time data, we have to do some uh, string manipulation. Here we use uh, the split uh, function. The split function takes in a string and use another string as a kind of divider to separate it into many substrings and return it as a, an array. Here is a, an example. Here we have a string ground cow, comma, white horse, comma, yellow chicken. So we use a comma as a divider. We can see the output uh, is an array with three elements, uh, brown cow, uh, white house, and uh, yellow chicken. In this case, we're using VBLF, which is a line feed character. So we separate the return text with each line. Then we have a for loop, which is looping each line and find the line with the exact string, quote, distance, quote, colon, curly brace. Here, we see there's a many quotation mark. That's because in VB environment, we using quotation mark to let the compiler know inside the quotation mark is a string. And using two quotations together represent a single quotation as a string. It seems like a little bit confusing, uh, but it's the syntax requirement. I think uh, JavaScript uh, did a better job using the backslash when dealing with the same issue. So uh, when the program finds the exact string, it will exit the current for loop which means that the variable k will stop counting. k is the element of the array, contains the string and uh, the data we needed. The distance is in the next line, and the driving time is on the next uh, fifth line. So we output them in the same row, but uh, different column, column s and uh, column t. And I use a wait method to run the loop of API request once per second. Because uh, most of free API have some limitation, like a limited request per minute. So it's best to read those limitations before use it, or the web server might block your ID for an hour or probably even a day. All right, that's it. Uh, next video, we are going to talk about how to use uh, automation to create an Outlook object to send uh, multiple email to those uh, made up uh, guest station email address.